Kerry Gabi, god of the Catios, said we must not cut down all the trees, as it is their falling leaves or their flowering that keeps us in tune with the changing seasons. I'm proud to be catching pitos with and for my community. We'll fight them until there are none left. They're dangerous, but so far nobody's gotten sick from the disease, or at least not that we know of. Pitos, vinchucas, chinchorros, barbeiros, and kissing bugs, or how to prevent the harm caused by these insects. Towards the end of the 20th century, a group of scientists and local farmers on the Caribbean coast of Colombia set about studying the behavior of triatamines, a local insect found in palm tree forests. These bugs, which Colombians also call pitos, can be the cause of the terrible Chagas disease. These studies concluded that locals could best avoid the risks posed by these bugs by respecting the natural environment, particularly in terms of the farming practices they apply. In this palm tree forest, where 3,500 people live in either villages or more dispersed houses, local farmers have managed to maintain a balance between their need to farm the land and at the same time preserve nature's elements. dry season is drawing to an end, but before the rains start, farmers prepare the soil to plant new seeds by cutting back and burning the vegetation that had been left to grow wild. Meanwhile, exhausted pieces of land are left to lie fallow for a few years to regain their mineral richness. Farmers use other plots of land to raise cattle. The team of researchers working in this dry tropical savanna observed that these triatamine bugs live in palms. These trees, whose leaves remain green and moist throughout the year, are one of the most common plants in the region. The number of triatamine found varies enormously depending on the palm species and the surrounding farming activity. For example, few triatamine are found in coconut and copernicia palms, whereas wine palms the forest's most robust and prevalent variety attract large numbers of the insect, particularly when there's cattle ground nearby. Triatamine colonies live alongside other animal species in the crown of the palm. But they can also be found in animal dens, hollow trees and birds' nests. In Brazil, the insect is called barbeiros. In Argentina and Bolivia, vinchucas. In Paraguay, joropucu. And in Ecuador, chinchorro. 
over a hundred different species have been identified in various habitats across the American continent. Triatamine bugs suck blood for nourishment, laying eggs and passing through their five larval stages to reach adulthood when they can fly. The bug itself is of no danger at all. What is dangerous is the parasite it carries in its intestines. The bug expels this parasite by defecating on the skin of its victims at the same time as it sucks their blood. This parasite, which is not visible to the naked eye, is called a trypanosome. With the help of a microscope, these students are looking at samples of blood sucked by triatamine bugs captured in the palm tree forest. This is the parasite which causes Chagas disease. It can also be found in animals' blood, as is the case with this marsupial, which also lives in palms. There are approximately 200 animal species that can carry the parasite without becoming ill. These include rats, squirrels, dogs, cats and many others, as well as some humans. And how do you fall ill? When the parasite penetrates the skin, it produces an infection and a slight fever, but this often goes unnoticed. Sometimes, an inflammation can appear at the site of the initial infection, like in this child's eye. If a person knows they are infected, they must seek medical attention immediately. One in ten infected children dies within a few weeks, almost always due to heart failure. When a non-infected triatamine sucks the blood of a trypanosome-infected animal, the trypanosomes multiply in the bug's intestines, and are then expelled through defecation onto human skin. This can provoke, sometimes years later, lesions of the heart, intestines, or brain. However, in the majority of cases, the person shows no signs of being ill and is a healthy trypanosome carrier without knowing it. Problems arise if this person donates blood or has a baby, as the parasite can be transmitted and may cause an infection. Over 20 million people on the American continent carry the parasite, and 100 million are at risk of acquiring the disease as they live in infected areas. So, what can be done to prevent Chagas disease? No vaccine exists yet, and treatment isn't always effective. What can be done, though, and what is most important, is organized pest control to fight the triatamine bugs. This involves preventing the insect from entering and infesting domestic environments, such as in this case, where triatamine have invaded a hen house. If they're already in the home, they must be killed with chemical insecticides. But that isn't enough. These bugs must be prevented at all cost from entering the home via windows and doors. They invade houses when their natural habitat, where they and other animal species live for centuries, is modified. This has not yet happened in the palm tree forest off the Colombian coast. Despite the fact that farmers there modify the palm environment with their slash burn and land rotating practices, animals and bugs still manage to disperse themselves and feed and so conserve their natural habitat. But this isn't always the case. In this town in northeast Argentina, for example, 
Having colonized the pigeon house in the town's main square, triatomine bugs have gone on to infest several story-high buildings. To know if these bugs are present in a room, you can either simply look for them or set traps which should then be checked once a month for feces, lava molts or dead bugs. Light attracts them. Mosquito nets on doors and windows prevent triatamine and other disease-carrying insects such as mosquitoes from entering the home. All possible habitats need to be checked. Palm roofs, piles of clothes, beds, mattresses and cracks in walls. They appear mainly at night. If you do find any, you should capture them, place them in a safely covered receptacle and take them to a schoolmaster, community leader, health worker or medical center. Make sure you have a medical checkup and get your home disinfected. <laughs> These bugs can also find their way into a person's clothing and baggage, often creating new colonies when visiting neighbors or homes elsewhere. As you can see, our way of life and the ways we exploit nature's resources have a major impact on our health, as health is closely linked to the diversity of the landscape. If we modify nature's course, all its elements are affected. Some plant and animal species will migrate under strain or may disappear altogether. Others, such as the triatomine bug, will adapt and flourish. How can we protect ourselves from these insects that transmit diseases? First, we need to know and understand biodiversity, the various elements that constitute our environment, and learn to distinguish which elements can threaten our health. Don't forget that certain animals guarantee stability in insect populations. Secondly, we need to use our resources sensibly. If we destroy the natural habitat of a plant, animal or insect to build a road, cultivate land or raise cattle, or if, for example, we threaten the existence of an animal species for trade purposes, the insects will have to seek new territory where they can live and feed. Listen carefully. What I'm about to tell you will be useful to you. When I was a child like you... Thirdly, right from childhood, we need to learn to understand and respect nature's equilibrium and how to protect ourselves from disease-transmitting insects. Look at them carefully. I'm going to tell you about this insect. Now, we caught them here in the wine palms. They're dead, so you don't have to be frightened of them. Now, first of all, they're eggs, and then they develop from being tiny little insects when they hatch to eventually growing into full adults. We've always cut down palm trees in the field. We saw them, but didn't really know what they were. For us, they were just, just bugs, we'd say. Now they're no longer just bugs, they're different. Now they're called pitos. But this bug has been around for a long time. 
We certainly didn't know about any illness this pito could give us. Nature is diverse and complex. We do not own the world. We're just a small part of it. We therefore need to learn to live with all of nature's elements, to respect and protect them. Knowing our surroundings and protecting our environment means protecting our health.